Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in the last video we learned how we can create a typography system in Figma and divide our textiles based on weight and use case. And for, to see that video, you, I, I'm going to put the link on the top right corner so you can click on it and easily uh, watch that video to learn how you can create uh, and add these styles here and organize them um, by, uh, by type. And in a previous video, we also talked about how we can create uh, different shades of a color palette and add them to the variables. So I also put this link down in the description and you can watch this one too to learn how you can create, uh, you know, basically to, to shape your design system. Now in this video, we're going to uh, actually add our spacing tokens that uh, dynamically, which actually it's going to be dynamic when we are designing. So we don't need to like manually edit the spacing between items one by one when the project gets huge. So that is one of the hugest, uh, like that is one of the biggest advantages of the variables. So I'm just going to open the variables. This is going to be a quick tutorial. So let's just go ahead and do it. Sorry. So yeah, I, I I'm already created a collection. So you can see this is the primitives, all, all of my colors. And now I, I created another collection and called the tokens. And now I'm just going to go ahead and create variable and number. I'm going to call it um, 4XL, actually XS, which is four, uh, 4 extra small. And it's going to be 1. And the next one is going to be 3XS, and it's going to be 2. These are pixels, by the way. Um, in Figma, 2xs is going to be 4 and 3, sorry, 1, actually xs, you don't need 1 there, it's going to be 6 because you never know you might need this, and then uh, small is going to be 8 pixels, and medium is going to be 12 pixels, and large, actually for medium, for small, let's go with M. For medium, let's go with MD. For large, let's go with LG. Large is going to be 16 pixels. And for the extra large, it's going to, it's going to be X, XL. It's going to be 20. And 2X large, it's going to be 24. 3X large, it's going to be 32. And for forks large, we're going to go with 40. And this is a good base. Let's let us uh, gr group them all. So oh, why doesn't it select it? Yeah, OK, here. Let's call it double tabia spacing. And this is a good base to start designing the blocks of your design. Because um, actually, if you use auto layout, you can manage. I, because I don't think we need like a number high, higher than this one. Because uh, when you're building the blocks of your design using auto layout, you can use easily the, the spacings. And you know, uh, you can use auto layout multiple times to make sure the design is organized. And I'm going to also show this in the future video. But this video was all, only about creating spacings and how to add them to the variables. So let's just like go ahead and try this on a simple wireframe. So I'm going to hit A. I'm going to select iPhone mini, uh, iPhone 13 mini. Uh, so this is a iPhone 13 mini frame. You can see 375 by A12. And um, let's go just create a box like here. Like here. I'm going to center it. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And now I'm going to create an auto layout from this one. And now here in the spacing, so you can see this is my auto layout. I can easily adjust the spacing. And if I tap here and um, hit apply variable, I can see the spacing. Actually, you can see the numbers here, which is super useful. Um, like uh, it says that four four x's is one pixels like XS is six pixels, um, so on and so forth. So I'm just gonna go with like 16, like which is the LG, the large one. 
And then in variables, whenever I edit this one, let's let me show you. Whenever I edit this one, like let's say I'm gonna change it to 20, 22, for example, you can see that it, it automatically gets updated. So this is a huge advantage uh, in designing because you never know when uh, there's a new change coming up and you might need to edit the whole, like maybe hundreds of screens. So there's not gonna be a manual work with this one because previously when we wanted to like uh, work on a change you need to update it uh, on each file differently but whenever you like add these variables and use it as your library in your team it's not going to be a problem so that is going to get solved so yeah this is a huge advantage i really like this and i think this is going to change the way uh, actually the efficiency of um, designing screens and you know you don't need to worry about uh, these stuff anymore this manual work because as you know like most of the time uh, you need to um, sit and just make sure that everything is organized but this way there is no like yeah there is no uh, room for error anymore so yeah i that's it uh, for idea yeah, it, it it was a short video just to uh, explain how you can create spacing on the next video, I think I'm going to explain how you can create border um, radius um, numbers and also the the stroke with uh, the stroke um, thickness. So yeah, stay tuned and I'm going to I think I'm going to upload in a few days. And uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like, please. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure to check out the, the other videos that I uploaded like about the colors and typography stay tuned um, and thank you for watching i'll see you around